Today, which is Friday, Monday, and Tuesday, so the next three class periods, we're going to be uh, taking a teaching approach called stations. Um, in these stations, there's going to be two stations in this classroom, one station in the breakout room, and two stations in uh, Miss Angie's room. And based on uh, some data that we got from the ANET test that we did, <coughs> we're sorting this into groups, and um, these groups are going to move from station to station. Group A today, which is Friday, you're going to be doing stations one and two. Okay. Mm -hmm. And those stations are here. So there's going to be a station one over here, two over here, three is in the breakout room with Ms. Nicole, four and five are in Ms. Angie's room. Each station is going to be working on a slightly different topic. At three of the stations, at station one, three, and five, Ms. Ms. Nicole, Ms. Angie, or I will be working directly with you. Stations two and four are independent workstations. Do you guys have questions about that? This is new for us. When you guys can still work together and help one another because when you guys have discussions, I think it, it deepens your understanding of what you're doing. So in that first group is Corey, and you guys can sit back here toward the back. Corey, Kalab, David's not there. And we can go ahead and get started. I'll get you guys your assignments in just one moment. What's happening when you get an equivalent fraction? I share. When you get an equivalent fraction, your even is a number that um you multiply or divide by mm -hmm. each of the numerator and the top, the numerator and the denominator mm -hmm. to get the um another fraction. But if like you go all the way down to the unit fraction, it will be equal the same thing. So what we're gonna do in this third section on this sheet is we're gonna find equivalent fractions, at least two equivalent fractions for each of the fractions listed on your page. And I'm going to challenge you to see how high you can go. Okay. So let's look at, let's keep our eyes up here. So look at my first drawing that I did. And it's on your sheet as well. John and I did eight squares, right? And I filled in five of them. Yes. But for Elisa, show you with me. Elisa, I drew three squares and shaded in two of them. So if you were just looking at this, who would you think ate more? Giant. Giant, right? What? You would she think that. The but the problem, there's a problem with this first attempt that I did. The, 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 the holes are different size. 